And I said Maggie Thatcher, more like Naggy Thatcher. Hey. <laughs> 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 so good. Who's Hi, that? guys. Yeah. Welcome to the Stephen Tries Podcast, Series 2, Episode 28. Wow. <laughs> what, what did 28? Huh? <laughs> 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 You're gonna do that for the whole thing. <laughs> what? Who? Hey! <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> this week I'm joined by Ryan Lark. Hey, Ryan! Oh yeah, that didn't he? Oh, yeah, okay. no. <laughs> he, he just does this <laughs> sporadically. Huh? <laughs> oh, Can't call oh that. Oh my god! <laughs> you, you might remember at the start, Ryan. Ryan didn't hear me. Uh, over in the corner is Max Smith. Hello there. Hey. Hey! Hey! It's Tom Looney. Hey! Thanks. Thank you for. He's back. Having me back. Um, Badder than ever. Yeah. 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 In what sense? Uh, <laughs> sweating, man. <laughs> I, I am, to be fair. It's a hot day. These lights are harsh. Uh, I don't know, just your attitude, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's the jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we said that. It does look better from kind of yeah, yeah. About 20, distance, about 20 yeah, feet away. Uh, so Tom, you're back from COVID. <laughs> yeah. How was it? I oh, would not recommend. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, <it's> God. <laughs> not good, not good. Um, the COVID itself was uh, was just a bit a bit sleepy. Yeah. Mm. Um, wasn't great. But then, uh, I, I, then I thought I was over it. Yeah. Uh, turns out I wasn't. Then... Did you three year? I'm over COVID part, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people got sick. <laughs> Cheers for the invite. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he thought you had a fever from the sweat. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hangover was a bit shit. Uh, about a week of just, I just walked to the shop, um, mm. and you know the shops uh, near me. It's not far at all. No, uh, very not short walk. Yeah, very and then I'd you know sometimes sleep for about three hours afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so, Welcome uh, to my world. Could baby. be the spice <clears throat> in the air. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> or you could have been spiked by the shopkeeper. Oh yeah, of course. Got to think on, mate. Yeah. They Maybe see you didn't that, even have COVID. I've not considered any of this. They see that Brain leather fog. jacket and they go, "That's a thief." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, stealing George Michael's fit, as they say. <laughs> yeah. Wham! You just got owned. <laughs> nice. Sure. Yeah. Um, oh, faith. <laughs> Uh, have you got your taste, taste and smell? Nope. Not, not by the look of that leather jacket. <laughs> hey! Offensive uh, uh. to George Michael. Yeah, it is actually quite nice as well. This. Uh, yeah. It's, like it's, a, it's a golf jacket. It is. It's, golf? So you yeah. can't smell? Can't smell, can't taste. Hey, uh, hey, hey Max. <laughs> <laughs> I know he can't smell it. So it's, it's just a <laughs> thing. Just a thing to know. I must be violently being sick. <laughs> Oh, Jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> this new pandemic is worse than COVID. <laughs> the streets are full of farting people. That'd be amazing. <laughs> These anus prankers will not be stopped. <laughs> oh, you were farting. <laughs> uh, Ryan. Uh, yeah. How's life? Yeah, not bad. Um, still. Uh, Working at TGI's, going yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, nice. Put an Oreo in Dave's drink when he wasn't looking. Oh, <laughs> a tasty treat. Yeah, yeah. So, was you ruined his milkshake, didn't you? <laughs> and, and he had a sip of it and he was like, oh, it's just a bit too watered down, I think, this Coke. And I was like, oh, oh is it? <laughs> is it? Oh, you put in Coke? Chuckling to yeah. myself. So you couldn't see it. Right. Right. Have yeah, you been yeah, putting sleeping pills in Tom's drinks? No. Good. Thanks for not carrying on with that joke, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't yes, a one-liner, he didn't know what to do with it. That wasn't me, yes. Your Honour. Yes, <laughs> not off, Steve. I've been accused before and I won't be accused again. <laughs> or, I did. <laughs> yes. Just looking at yeah. his <laughs> Me and Tom just slumped to the floor. And then Ryan does, because you put one in your own yeah, drink. Yeah. yeah. Whoops. And then Stephen farts on us. Uh, so, so you've got, you've got him back. You've pranked him back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well done. Uh, last week in Stephen Lyle. Eyes. Mm. I was detective, and you know I take that seriously. Yeah. Mm. Um, and there was a vest in a bag. Right. Pulled the vest out. Saw there's a little phrase on it. So I instantly went, "Dave, what does it say on the vest?" Mm. Uh, he said, "I couldn't tell you." Uh, anyway, about 15 minutes later, uh, he, it's his vest right. that he's had for five years. 
scumbag I couldn't, Dave. I couldn't believe that story. Yeah. It's, it's a lie. Oh. So yeah. just, just a lie to kind of get one past the detective. Like, yeah. It's kind of yeah. it oh, see, flies but... in the face of what Stephen lies is. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have gone for Dave anyway, no. you know? Because exactly. uh, I, I pretended that the shirt stank and Max sat back and I thought he was offended at what I'd said. <laughs> then I realised you had gone to Tom's COVID party. <laughs> <laughs> We're safe. I'm trying to think what I can do. Like, you know, <clears throat> you've all seen bars. What can yeah. I do that's in a bar that... Uh, <laughs> Glass him? Yeah. yeah. Something really sticky, sugary, just yeah. kind of pop the top off it, what was it, it in his you, pocket. Yeah, what was it that like you, you used to do to me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I undid a, a tomato a bottle, a t- bottle of tomato juice, put it in my pocket. So when I moved it, it just poured down my leg. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, great fun. I might join you, Ryan, actually, and get him revenge. Max on his period. As I'm <laughs> tomato Smith, <laughs> menstrual Max. I remember that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> everyone was laughing. <laughs> A classic one I saw was uh, on a school bus. This lad put a, a like a raw egg in someone's pocket, and then later on just smacked it. Wow. Mm. Just cracks. <laughs> nice. That's not as uh, my school bus got hit on the head with a raw potato. <laughs> Your school, Your bus. school bus. Yeah, yeah. The bus itself. <laughs> the school bus. <laughs> the <laughs> potato <laughs> managed to bring it. The the We've had a crash. <laughs> 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 on the school bus. <laughs> I can't believe your best friend headbutted you. <laughs> Me with you, Fred. <laughs> he helps me with me maths. <laughs> uh, spud my bud. <laughs> spud my bud. You got that tattooed on your back, haven't you? <laughs> he said, "Spud me." Someone just picked him up. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be cruel. So true. Yeah, they can. They really can. Um, uh, Tom, did you go to the Wigan game last night? I did. First day feeling good. Wigan Bolton. So, uh, so I went out. Derby. Yeah, uh, penalty shootout win. Are they uh, won? Yeah. Well done, Wigan. Yeah. Other ticks. It was uh, that was good. Um, big um, Bolton filled out. <laughs> it's funny because uh, we went a week ago with uh, with Ryan and the Wigan members. There's about four of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bolton brought yeah, Bolton brought uh, quite a lot. So yeah, it was, uh, Fair. was it there any kickoffs atmosphere. apart from the? Uh, it, did, uh, it did kick off a little bit. Uh, police uh, kind of oh. had to kind of cordon it off in the town centre. Wow! And uh, keep the Bolton fans back until the time that their train was uh, had arrived. Just oh uh, uh, yeah. Oh. Is it like a derby for them though? Yes, yes, oh, right. It is. It's oh, local. Um, big game. That uh, were you? Were you in the middle of it? Were you throwing punches on the pitch? I wasn't. I wasn't throwing any punches. Um, no. All right, boring. Then. <laughs> I went to Liverpool and Burnley on Saturday. Throw any punches? No, just in the air. <laughs> hey, go! <laughs> um, it was disallowed. I looked stupid. It actually, was uh, it was as well. Goal, yeah. Yeah. VAR. Yeah, that's it, mate. Um, but it was. It was. I, I was invited by Lawrence McKenna, who was invited by Nike because they had a box there. Right. Um, so I was very lucky to go. I haven't been for ages because mm-hmm. uh, I'm a shit fan. And uh, no. Lawrence had the tickets, and for some reason the app wouldn't work. And I and they were running really late in traffic, so I was there for an hour. And I'd gone pretty. Much, he said <laughs> he said he sent me like a, a screenshot of it, and I went to try and use yeah. it. Uh, of course, it's like the VIP boxes, so they're all dressed up really fancy. Right. And then they just went, yeah, that's not working. So I was like. Okay, so I just sort of stood there for an hour in the, in the rain. It was like this. Oh man! Uh, and then, and then, eventually, Lawrence was there, and uh, they let me in. But it was a different staff member by that point, so I still looked like a stupid idiot. Um, <laughs> just drenched. <laughs> by the time we got to the box, uh, they'd put all the stuff away because it was uh, the match was about to kick off. They went, "You're too late for that." Um, but they had like full bottles of vodka, gin, yeah. just whiskey, wow. all that sort of stuff. Um, Pastries. It was like a oh, pastries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fruit. Um, but in the wrong oh, game, mate. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then at half time, uh, I went to the toilet, came back, and they were serving hot meals. I think it was steak and eggs or whatever. Uh, <laughs> and by the time people had got their meals, the game had kicked off again. So I just went back out because I thought I want to watch the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Were they serving any fish dishes? I don't think so. <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, they did have little. They had like little deli stuff. <laughs> oh, it was a really good spread, man. Nike, I love football. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you bring me to one of your games, I will cheer and shout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All that stuff. What else? You'll bring deep pockets, won't you? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fish dishes? <laughs> 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 
when I, uh, when I went to the <laughs> turns night. out they're not even boiled when it's just a prank and Stephen slaps it <laughs> he's covered in yolk <laughs> coming with the tomato juice <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to watch United in a box. Yeah. Uh, once. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and a magician came I was out. Just imagine him in a little box. <laughs> <laughs> Why that's tickled me. <laughs> um, yeah, a magician came out, started doing magic. Wow. <laughs> on the pitch or in uh, the box? No, no, in the box. In oh, the box. right. Because I was on my own with like six other blokes that had booked yeah. it for a oh. birthday thing. What was the Got, game? Did you know anyone there? No, no. <laughs> uh, Why were you there? So they'd booked, so, it, they'd booked the box so out, but did, you just appeared. Is it like a, a voucher thing? Uh, no, so James <laughs> said that he could get some tickets for like the, the box. And um, he already had one and he was going to try and get another one. So he managed to get another one. And then we realised on the day that he had one for like a way end. Uh, I had one in the United End <clears throat> so, and I turned up and it was like a red carpet and I had to have like a three course meal with all these blokes that I didn't know that were there for like a birthday thing oh, and I was just oh, trying not to mention I bet they mention, fucking hated you probably, exactly, yeah. probably when they were like how did you get the ticket I was just like cunt. oh I, I won it I said so I won it <laughs> imagine booking out a room in a fight <laughs> I just didn't want to say you know I didn't pay for it mate <laughs> did they think you were part of the entertainment yeah. no maybe They're just waiting for you to do so some how do you comedy. know Alan <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was an interesting experience. Yeah. That's it was. <laughs> Not for the viewers of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, That's so whilst I was there, I, look, <laughs> I looked Sorry. to my right and uh, Razor Ruddock was there, who was a former Liverpool player for a bit. Great friend he's, of the he's, podcast. He's quite a, quite a hefty bloke. He was there for the first half, second half, never came back. So I, think, <laughs> I think he just saw the spread and stayed in there. <laughs> oh, well. Just questioning Ryan, who had somehow got in. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Ruddock. <laughs> Now, in terms of real life football, uh, we played a game on Friday. Tom wasn't there um, due to illness. Yeah, um, but we got we got beat, um, got kicked, battered around. Thank you. But I've decided it's going to be my final game for a while. Um, oh really? Oh, wow. Just my knees every day oh, yeah. kill me. And then also at one point, Cameron Green stole me, uh, told me to stop shooting, and which is happens, as ironic yeah. as Ralph Mo telling you to stop shooting. <laughs> That's two Real Mo jokes in a week. <laughs> I'm on day release. I came out to watch some great football. Uh, he's I don't know he's, what he he's dead. Like. Is he? <laughs> oh. on day release. Jesus, Max. <laughs> Sorry, fans of Real Mo. Uh, well, really intensive. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, a large section of our demographic. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Uh, but yeah, uh, just miserable. <laughs> miserable. God, I can imagine. Yeah, so I've... Uh, Are you going to still play in other games? <laughs> well, no, because my knees knees really hurt, so I'm going to build up my legs, yeah. uh, which is weird because my legs are quite big, but yeah. something's wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to get them fixed, and then maybe could I'll be... Could be a bit like tendonitis or something. Could be. If, uh, if like, a strange scientist was watching the podcast, you yeah. could rebuild them with technology, would you go for it? I'd, I'd, I'd take robotic knees, yeah. That'd yeah, be really cool. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I think really would high. you? Yeah, f- yeah. Knees are useless, aren't they? When you get to a certain yeah, age, like, these have done. These have done like twenty years. Yeah. Especially when you're it. of a hefty size, you need yeah. to really feel it. God. Watch out, Ryan. My well, once we kind of <laughs> get past like twenty, that's it. Really, it's yeah. kind of yeah. done for. Decline. Yeah. If you are a doctor that can give robotic knees to Stephen, write in the comments. Yeah, we'll, we'll or just we'll, improve. We'll know, do a situation. sponsored post in the podcast for you. <laughs> <laughs> we call it quits. It's now time for a brand new segment. It's. Max's Paralympic round. Max, the Paralympics, we're well into it now when this goes out, but it's only just started for us. Uh, yeah. What, what's going on? There's some great stories coming out. Yeah. We've got Dame oh Sarah gosh. Story, or Story, or whatever. Stony. Stony. Sure. Yeah. Do you want her 15th Paralympic gold medal? Caught blimey. Uh, in the individual pursuit of oh, what? what? I don't know. Happiness, uh, maybe? Uh, cycling. That's yeah. what she does. Cycling, cool. Here's, here's, a, here's a cool question for you, Max. Sorry okay. to step on your toes. Uh, <laughs> so Ryan can't see. Uh, the most decorated Paralympian is swimmer Trisha Zorn. Can you guess how, ma- how many medals she's won? That's to, for all of you. 46. Okay. 60. 61. She's won 55, Ooh, 41 ah. golds. 
It's crazy. Well, that's a that. lot. That's too yeah. many, if anything. In her, Gibson back. In her, yeah, first, exactly. in her first game, she entered 10 events, won 10 golds, and broke 10 world records. Wow. Jesus. Why would you go Same. back after that? Yeah, that's that's the I'm point. done. Yeah. <laughs> in other news, uh, St. Helens celebrity <clears throat> Johnny Welly died. So that's from Johnny Vegas, probably the most famous person in St. Helens. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Everyone, everyone in St. Helens knew of him. Oh, is he like the local? Yeah, he was. Person? He was uh, homeless. Used to run around. I think around. he got home. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I remember him shouting abuse at me once uh, when I was a <laughs> when I was a kid. But my sister said uh, he was really nice to my nephew Leon. So uh, that's nice. Poor judgment from him, but um, whatever. Uh, so yeah, he's died. Oh. Uh, do, we, Ka- do, do we know how? No, I think maybe just old age or COVID. But Cam- Cameron said, uh, <laughs> well, <I'm a> <laughs> <laughs> "Cameron said uh, Saint Helens has lost its saint, <laughs> which is powerful." Yeah, well done, Cameron. <laughs> so it doesn't lose its Helen. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anyone. Oh, I do actually. I had a crush on her for many years. Yeah. If you're watching, I've got a girlfriend now. <laughs> <laughs> Other Not news: me. the Met Gala. What the frig is that? Yeah, what is that? It's like the Oscars for fashion. I read for the police. Well, yeah, so. <laughs> So it's like the all the all the people involved in fashion, all these celebrities. Yeah, it's very hard to get invited, as I yeah. found out. Um, <laughs> so there's there's just a, a limited amount of people that can go, but they they released this seating plan uh, earlier this week, and it had Idris Elba sat next to James Charles, who's a who's <laughs> a, a makeup YouTuber, allegedly a, a grooming teenagers as well. <laughs> Oh, my oh. first thought was why have they invited James Charles my second thought was why have they stuck Idris Elba next to him <laughs> but the rest of the table none of them seem to fit with Idris Elba no not, like, none of the tables really worked at all no it's like Beyonce he... was with a TikToker called Addison Ray, and the, there's just these really really big celebrities and then yeah. right. a TikToker on each have a TikTok table yeah yeah, exactly. yeah. I've, like, I've like the kids table where they are <laughs> just <laughs> nay nay in with the, <laughs> the dinner that's awful. They're it, probably thinking about photo ops, yeah, possibly, yeah. To, just to kind of put these people Get together to audience. make something out of yeah. the fact that they sat together. Because otherwise, who That's, cares about the TikTok table? Apparently, it's fake. I think right, they've said right, that okay. since it's been released, and they're like, yeah, seeing the backlash. Just, just the, a joke. See him, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, next to not next to Spuddy. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I'd definitely get drunk if I was going. I could yeah, just go yeah, to yeah. one of those things. So next to Idris Elba and James yeah. Charles. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be so in between bad. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've blatantly crammed that chair in. Half a chair. It's a stool. <laughs> can, I, can I borrow your fork, please? <laughs> Is anyone not having a start? <laughs> Are you eating that, Idris? <laughs> yes. Why, why would you go. pick off his plate and not James Charles? <laughs> Think of the backline. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Idris Elba, he's rumoured to be the next James Bond. The yep. current James Bond, uh, Daniel Craig's been in the news because he said he's not going to leave his, his children uh, any inheritance. Yeah, very little. Um, What's he going to do with it? Well, he's worth $160 million and then he's <clears throat> apparently he's signing a deal worth $100 million for Knives Out 2 and whatever sequels. Mm. So if you if you were the kids of like a multi, multi, multi-millionaire, would you be angry going, oh, Papa? <laughs> I'd, I'd be furious. Yeah, I'd be... Yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be I just yeah. think, what's the point? Like, I don't know. Just you have a better life, don't you? Yeah. You have no worries about money. Plus, also, you would grow up in a very affluent, very affluent setting, and mm. then to be denied that, yeah, you would then have to live like you know a normal. Person. Unless they're going to inherit businesses and properties and investments, I, I that kind of will. thing. No? From what he from what he says, he says either give it away to charity, yeah, or he said spend it. Oh, I'd be wow. <laughs> I remember when Just Ricky, to get a trust fund. I remember when I read years ago, Ricky Gervais had donate all his money to an animal charity. Yeah. And I was like, that's such a stupid idea. And then as you get older you think, at least someone's doing it. Yeah. Otherwise people yeah. just pass it down and down and down. But if you were the like if you were Daniel Craig and you had all this money, there is always that worry that your kids are gonna grow up to be just like these annoying little there is yeah. it depends what your relationship is with money like I say some people that kind of feel like it hasn't enhanced their lives or it yeah. causes more problems than good they're well, more likely to protect their kids from it they think they're protecting so their kids if you're asking me to put myself in the kids shoes then yeah I would be <laughs> get out <laughs> you can't stop me how old are the kids Do you know? get over the gate 
<laughs> and why is he only taking our shoes? <laughs> He's taken one pair of shoes and nothing else. Just imagine you in your coat. Spend some money on security, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fifth pair of Doc Martens he's stolen this week. <laughs> Keeps getting in. Leaving your coat. <laughs> I think he'll have to leave my own shoes there. <laughs> he's in my room. <laughs> <laughs> it's the next Bond film. <laughs> Only 20 seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> odd job son odd ball <laughs> hello only me <laughs> uh. kill him kill him now <laughs> don't beat around the bush you don't need a love interest just shoot him <laughs> <laughs> For his own good. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I was in the kid's position, yeah. I would be furious. Well, you don't, but I get why people yeah. say don't. Mm. Well, if he's worth a hundred odd million, if he leaves ten million, that's still quite a lot. Yeah, I know. It, I know it, it sounds like he's not going to leave anything. I think he will. I think he will. It's just, more just a threat to the kids, probably. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> stop being little shits. Yeah, this kids can't be that much. Younger than... Could be teenage, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah. God, that'd be devastating. What do the kids think? You know, maybe they're listening. Maybe yeah. yeah. Write down in the comments. Please Share do. some of the wealth. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just don't tell your dad about what we've been doing. <laughs> um, Watch out for your shoes. <laughs> we're bringing back a classic segment this week. It's Reliable Source. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. It's really good news. <sighs> So remember, one word segment. Yep, gone a little bit rogue oh, with Jesus. this one. The source is fudge. Enjoyment. Tasty. Can't. Cream. No. I could say ice cream, so I sort of uh, ruined it. Uh, you can't, Tom. That's not a sauce. Fudge sauce. Fudge Hot fudge sauce. sauce on a Sunday. Oh. Oh, fudge sauce. I, d- I, d- I didn't know uh, fudge sauce was a thing. Yeah, yeah. Just, I just get a cube of fudge and just melt it. Right, okay. And you got you sorry, why well, can I go again? Fudge <laughs> sauce in, uh, in <laughs> you, the... You do it that way. Or you I do like chocolate way. fudge cake. Um, mm. I like fudgy things. Mm. I feel like you've, you've really gone away from the sauce here and focused on the fudge, mate. Yeah. No, what this is about. Sorry, Matt. Yeah, when you said fudge, my mind went to like fudge. Fudge, uh, fudge. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. Freud would have a field day with that. <laughs> fudge, fudge. I think I've had it, you know. Fudge oh, sauce. shut up! But I shut would up, like Brian. it. So I stand by shut what I said. What did you say? <laughs> Enjoyment. Oh, what a fucking. I didn't, didn't even, even say oh, mint. I didn't you, even what, hear you that. You just said can't. Because I. Be- can't. What's this? Huh? Enjoyment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to what be a bit more. Say? I'm trying to be a bit more aggressive towards oh, people. Go on, Just the shittest it. kind of fucking word you could have said. I think I, I'm, I was yeah. worse, to be fair. Good. Cream. <laughs> creamy fudge. Mm. I thought it was word association. Oh, creamy. You should have said creamy. <sighs> creamy fudge. That's mm. good. If you said creamy, I would have panicked. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I would have just said ice. Enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> time, time to slag off a podcast. <laughs> hey! Boo. Uh, <clears throat> this week it's the girls' bathroom. Oh, women. Oh. Yeah. Why are you sticking recorders in there? That's illegal. Did, did Joe write the title? Because there's no apostrophe in it, you morons. Ah. Oh. You morons. It should be one, shouldn't it? So what's... The bathroom belongs to the girls. The girls', the girls bathroom. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, first, when I think of bathrooms, I think it stinks of piss. Yeah. Especially... Is it just, you know, them talking and you just hear... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, oh, to be fair, that's it's pretty much this Fucking podcast, isn't now, it? <laughs> we do that so often. Um, have you ever been in a girls' bathroom, a woman's bathroom? Yeah, I went to yeah. one at Wigan yeah. uh, one time. Oh, yeah. That was oh, great. Yeah, with your camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with my camera. <laughs> GoPro on your head. <laughs> How do you think that's recording? <laughs> the red light means it's off, actually. <laughs> You're it's embarrassing. That means stop. You look pretty fucking stupid right now. <laughs> Close your legs and your mouth. All right. <laughs> Let it all out, big man. That was funny. Yeah, um, I guess I have uh, when I'm working at bar. Got to clean up after, you know, yeah. after a shift. Had to clean up. <laughs> this this is in. after my shift. <laughs> Not after, I'm still working. <laughs> that makes it sound worse. I do this for pleasure. <laughs> I know this for, for you, not me. Oh, I was going to say me, not you. And I realised that would have been a bit of a mistake. I went in the girls' toilets when I was younger because um, I was with my sister. 
Oh. And, um, and when she was, we were all in the cubicles, um, him and sister, and uh, <laughs> I heard this really loud fart noise. And I was like, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> and then uh, I get out and my sister's already out outside waiting. And I was like, oh God. And then this woman walked out. Oh, this, tits. Yeah. That's not good. Well, I was a young boy. Uh, <laughs> just confused. You're awful quiet, Ryan. Uh, I've not really been in girls' talk, only for work and, you know, when I was <laughs> What job was that? Uh, it was when I was at the hotel. It was just... Voluntary <laughs> plumber. <laughs> Don't worry, if you're looking for interesting things, we have just the segment for you. you can tell me the look is, then I'll be quite surprised, to be honest. Went around me, man. <laughs> I've got a, a bit of fun for you. Yeah, There's two countries them. this time. Ooh. So, you know, you've Trinidad got... and Tobago. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> okay. Handball team vanishes mysteriously. Ooh. Where plays handball? Uh, uh, Spain and Netherlands. I'm, I'm going to go, go Hungary and Austria. Okay. United States and Canada. Okay, uh, it was S- Sri Lanka and Germany. Oh, oh so close to uh, Germany. Cast your mind back to 2004, uh, and Germany and Sri Lanka have a um, a deal going on where uh, a team will come from Sri Lanka to Germany and they'll do a game, and then Germany will send a team over to Sri Lanka, sort of like bringing the countries together. I see what's going to happen. Lovely now. cultural hot pot. Um, melting pot, whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, um, love a hot pot. They're doing a so this is like all sorts of sports, but they do a handball one. And the Sri Lankan team comes over and <laughs> proceed to lose every single game, <sighs> and the handball team just disappears. So Germany starts searching for them. They think they've gone lost in the woods. Go in the woods. There's a letter saying we've actually fucked off to France. Don't come looking for us. So Germany goes to France to see if they can find them because this is meant to be like this cultural thing and the team's just fucked off. Like, what's going to happen? Go to France, find out they've gone to Italy. Wow. And they see trying to find them. They just can't. Like a mad, mad world. So they send a letter to Sri Lanka saying, we're really... Well, probably not a letter, probably just called them. 2004, yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably Carry a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just went, Never made it. Your handball team's disappeared. We're really sorry. We don't know what's they going on. They weren't missing in the game, that's for sure. <laughs> and Sri Lanka said, we don't have a handball team. Oh. We don't know who you're talking about. It's a football team and they're all cheating. Oh. But yeah, Mind blown. That's mad. There's a load of theories as to what it was. One theory is that it's a group of friends that just decided they wanted to do uh, handball. Yeah. Um, there's actually a film based on that premise. Yeah. Um, it's called Dodgeball, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very strange. No one know. No one knows what's going on. There's pictures of the people. Yeah. But no one recognises. <clears throat> just seeking like a better life, maybe. Wow. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know what Sri Lanka's like, so well, that's a that little bit of fun, idea, yeah. interesting, a mystery. Yeah. That maybe you could solve it at home. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Craig's kids. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Use your father's spy instincts. Ooh, earn your keep. And uh, <laughs> Knives Out, he's a detective. Combine oh, the two. Oh, God. Wow, God. Yeah, yeah, God, that makes so and much in, sense. And in, and in uh, Layer Cake, he's a drug dealer. How is that relevant, Max? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You want, we want us to talk about something random? <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> we'll bloody do it. No one else will. We will. Yeah, the girls' bathroom won't do this, will they? Must be running out of these by now. No. No. Quite a lot. <clears throat> Quite a lot left. Who wants to go first? Ryan? I'll go first. Yeah, yeah. Selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even offer. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Men need to do better at... Oh! <clears throat> Men uh... need to do better at... Nothing better than four white men to <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> what are we bad at? Just behaving well. Yeah. yeah. Respecting others. Yeah. yeah. Man, woman, children. Listening to your partner, maybe. Speak for yourself. I forget sometimes that. To listen. listen to Eric, Eric yeah. I'll have a conversation. <clears throat> the next day, I'll just forget. That That's serious. A forget, bit like, forget who she is. Maybe listen from my point of view. Maybe. Yeah, maybe <laughs> listen. Maybe listen. <laughs> if I can be asked. Is it just all a bit hazy when, when she's speaking? Yeah. No, no. Are you so just, in love with just, her that you just you know forget about it? You're just so high on kind of... Uh, <laughs> life. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Um, Drugs. Yeah. No. <laughs> so listening? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Max. 
just respect i think yeah, yeah. you know that that includes listening learning you know just uh yeah yeah take care of the world this is the only one we've got take care of other people they're the only ones we've got yeah um yeah. take care of yourselves respecting boundaries mainly yeah. Yeah. yeah i think when you do go out you know on a, on a night in town God, yeah. and, and and you see all the lads village all the lads are out some of them are a bit embarrassing aren't they even even during the day yeah yeah yeah, when groups of uh, yeah. raucous lads come together. Probably yeah. all softies when they're yeah, at home exactly, with the girlfriends. Yeah. They don't have girlfriends. Talking in a baby voice, you know? I've done that. Yeah. I do that. Yeah. More of that. Yeah. More of that, boys. Yeah. More baby voice. Yeah. yeah. That'll fix everything. Yeah. <laughs> would, you, really would. would you listen more if Erin spoke in a baby voice? <clears throat> uh, no. In a no. way in. Would you vote for Boris Johnson if he spoke in a baby <laughs> voice? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. No. Wow. Uh, Tom, what was I, I can understand why women get a bit pissed off. Yeah. Um, I know it's not all men that behave badly, but um, there is a large, yeah, percentage. Like every time, kind of, I'm out with like Devon, and and sometimes when, when you know when she's out on her own, some of the things she tells me. Like, yeah, she she walked to the shop the other day, and uh, some lad just <laughs> stops the car on Dale Street, rolls the window down, and asks, starts asking her for a Snapchat, and it's just oh, like. Yeah. You know, just just don't do that. Less yeah. of that, you know. Yeah. But she gets that all the time, and I imagine a lot of girls do. It's probably quite grating. So he walked from the flat to the yeah. where she gets an Uber. It's about thirty second walk, and she was like, "Oh, this this guy was hitting on me." <sighs> yeah, it's... I can't imagine it's that successful. You know. No. Just you no. Know, be a gentleman. The, oh, talking a baby the voice. The film Hitch else. has caused so many problems for this, yeah. this gender. <laughs> it's got a lot of men should stop Smith. watching Hitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max. Thank you. Oh boy, when was the last time you cried? I cried because I was uh, pretending to be injured. <laughs> <laughs> was this at the football match the other day? <laughs> Come on, ref! You heartless wench. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> I'm faking a limp. <laughs> <laughs> you so so bad. Bad. It's, it's, my, it's my debut for Liverpool and you're ruining it Probably <laughs> <laughs> um, like an argument I've had yeah. Yeah. yeah With a loved one I can't think Come home to find Erin slicing up Spuddy <laughs> Or nicing up Spuddy Oh <laughs> no, no Smooching Ned Taylor <laughs> oh. <laughs> That really anger you uh, so I don't actually own potatoes. <laughs> you just <laughs> run, run in. <laughs> anyway. You don't own Spuddy. You know, Spuddy's like a partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit roast, Spud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must have owned some potatoes at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ordered some potatoes from Amazon the other day and thought I was just getting sick. Sorry, what? Sorry. Oh, not Amazon, not Amazon. This is the worst thing that's ever come out on the stage. Sorry, sorry. Ryan Lock orders his potatoes on Amazon. No, I got a delivery. It's too heavy, the box. Gonna take it out one by oh, one to kill us. Yeah. Yeah. And delivery. <laughs> as, as, I love receiving as parcels. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, no, I probably would. Cr- no, I wouldn't cry. I don't care. I don't care about potatoes. Right? Wow. What? You seem to what? care about potatoes. So What's bitter. Say like a raw this? potato. Yeah. Mm. So, last time you cried. See, mine's not very fun. Uh, I've had a yeah. bit of a rough year with. Uh, of deaths and funerals and stuff so I mean, yeah. probably recently oh, got a bit emotional at a funeral um, just seeing the pain caused and the anguish yeah. on people's yeah. faces you know it's does it, do you not, feel not better pleasant. after crying or I'm not bothered about crying the thing is I, I'm never, I never try and hold it in um, so I'm not someone who cries um, kind of in, in a big display of crying yeah. I, I, re- I rarely yeah. uh, get that upset that it's kind of out You of go control. live on Instagram, don't you? <laughs> yeah, just kind of... Once I know the tears are flowing. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. What up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> just doing a TikTok dance. <laughs> what's, what's this? Wait, watch TikTok. Yeah. Mate, TikTok. save it, save it. <laughs> Max cried when he couldn't follow the routine. <laughs> How did they do that with the limbs? <laughs> <sighs> God, drinking, drinking makes me cry. I see you're just really fed up and then cry in the shower or something. Yeah, well, that's been there. Sad. That was that was years ago. 
Sort of the water heights of tears, though. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Very so the, the guys in the shower can't see. <laughs> in, uh, in first year, I cried before a lecture once. Did you? And I found out I got cancelled. Because <laughs> yeah, the, the day before, uh, I went to the gym for the first time. And um, I was there for two hours and oh, did yeah. everything. Oh, there. man. Absolutely. Did everything in there. Everything. God, imagine that. And I woke up the next day, <laughs> nothing. I was in so much pain. Couldn't even wipe my ass, have a shower properly. Like, TMI. Am I yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. right, Rob. Oh, Too much information. Oh, sorry, sorry, me. sorry. It was so painful. <laughs> Couldn't even wipe your ass. What had you well, done? No, I did so what happened in the end? Did you just go to uni with a I poo bum? No, no, no. I could actually wipe my ass. I'm sorry. So you lied. you lied. Well, yeah, it was a struggle. We don't, we don't have struggle. hyperbole on this podcast. <laughs> I started walking there and then it got cancelled, so I was just... Cancelled? Really <laughs> wow. Government got involved, the mayor came down. <laughs> <laughs> Andy <laughs> Burnham. <laughs> I've never cried in cry? happiness. Haven't you? Oh, I have. I've cried, yeah. with la- I've cried laughing. Uh, like a jaw ache <laughs> um, from uh, when, I, when I laugh a lot. Yeah. Kind of my face hurts, but I don't cry. Well, never but, laughed um, me. No? Never felt the joy. <laughs> <laughs> you on Tom? Yes, oh, yes. oh, oh, that's like, that's dangerous. Yeah, is talking about sex on a first date a bad idea? <laughs> Depends who you're dating. Yeah, uh, I assume there's going to be people out there that will just speak about it. Yeah, you know the world's a great place. There's so many different types of people in it. So many different types of sex. That's it. <laughs> Too many. Uh, <laughs> there will be people that just they sit down and the first thing they're going to say is yeah. Do you like to nosh? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I imagine I, they go on naked attraction. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many different types of people in the world that that question, for me, probably not. No. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. No. Yeah. I'd been speaking to Zoe for ages, though. Yeah. For our first date. I still did bring up sex. Maybe because no. I had nothing to speak about. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got a story for you? <laughs> Uh, how do you do it? <laughs> I don't actually know what this thing does. <laughs> Is this hard? This <laughs> <laughs> cum's supposed to be red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, not myself. Uh, I wouldn't talk really talk mm. about sex no. on a first date. I'd maybe make sexual jokes. Yeah. But in just, yeah, just to kind of prepare. Sort of crass way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Ryan, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make any sexual jokes. Just do uh, it. Sec- just yeah. talk about sex in general. Really. I guess it's more of a if you're kind of chatting via like Tinder or something before. Yeah, some people yeah. kind of have these conversations. It's, I've never. I mean, Tinder. You know, I met Devon before. Tinder was really. No, it was going. It was going. No, it was yeah. going. But I, phones. I guess I wasn't. Then, I know. Yeah. Fo- I know. Phones existed. I had a phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. The, um, Born yesterday. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so many yesterdays. <laughs> did that even make sense? I don't think it did. I've had a long week. I'm tired. That doesn't help your case. <laughs> I'm dying. It's, only, it's, warm it's only Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do another one? Yeah, I'm going to pick one. Oh, what is one new thing you want to do next year? Win the lottery? Yes. Have done that yet? <laughs> Have you tried? <laughs> yeah, have you? Have you? I've you a few tickets. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not like really. I don't do it every week, but I've done it a few times and I've lost every time. Just stealing blank lottery. <laughs> 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 Trying to hand it in after. <laughs> oh, ma- imagine that. You'd be. F- oh, that'd be horrendous. Have yeah. you had the uh, like the daydream about winning the lottery? And what oh yeah, yeah. We've chatted about it. Yeah. yeah. Your- what's, what's the first thing you do, Max? Uh, <laughs> by takeaway. <laughs> But like a big takeaway that I wouldn't get normally. Wow. Yeah. It's like a big lobster. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. God, oh, I don't know. <laughs> There's so much choice, isn't there? I might get more than one. Yeah. I might die of a heart attack just because the amount of calories I've eaten. Oh, God. <laughs> Say you don't win the lottery. Yeah. What would you want to do next year? <laughs> what I want to do? Go on, Ryan. Uh, something that's new. So I'm, I'm a best man for one of my friends. It's wow. like a wedding next yeah. year. What are the odds of you just getting really baked before it, before the speech? Oh. So fucking baked, man. I'd be terrified. I'd be so paranoid if I did that. No fair. Uh, but so that's quite. Spready gets quite, high to baked potato. <laughs> I'm quite scared about that. I mean, like doing a best man speech. Yeah. And yeah. So it's something I'm. 
worried about, but looking forward to it at the same time. So that's uh, can I write it for you? Something new. I was, I was meant to be my brother-in-law's best man, and I couldn't do the. Just didn't want to do the speech. I was getting too nervous. Really? Because I did stand up as well. Did you write one? I thought, uh, no. Because his brother, his brother was there as well. I thought, mate, your brother the best man. Yeah. He's more qualified. What am I going to say? You're shagging my sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because she banned that. <laughs> my one man. <laughs> you need help, Steve. <laughs> I want to get my shoulder sorted, so that might happen this year. So next year I can do everything I can't do. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Just deal pokers <laughs> real quick. Play with my yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? A backhander like child. <laughs> <laughs> Go somewhere, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd like to do some of the travelling uh, that I've been wanting to do. Yeah, properly. And if there's anything, anything changes with work, uh, well, you know, doesn't need to happen next year. But I was just thinking today, I would like to be doing something that I actually really liked. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, uh, life short. Kind of move in that direction with work. Yeah, yeah I want to. I want to make enjoyment. make something big next year. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Max, <laughs> win a lottery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what if what if it's not an option? Some of that you can control. Well, yours might not be an option, so. Oh fucking all right, can move on. Move Drive. On. Move That'd be one. Uh, I should. I should. Have, my test is <gasps> this year. Oh. Hey. On my birthday. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Make sure. Make sure you tell the. Uh, the what's he called? The instructor. No, yeah. the uh, examiner. The, test, yeah, the examiner. Yeah. yeah. The test person. But it's my birthday. <laughs> But I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous? Um, I've not even started my lessons yet, so no. I'm, I don't know. I might, I might take to it really well. Um, Probably. But I guess it's, it's high stakes on your birthday, isn't it? Because oh, you know, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's at one o'clock. If I fail my test on my birthday, <laughs> I don't know. You can just get really drunk and forget about it. How soon do you get the results back? Straight away. Straight away. Oh, really? I, I, no, straight away. I, I was told on my test, does it st- still, still have time room? left? I failed. <laughs> oh. the, the thing is, if you do fail, from my experience, I was really annoyed, really upset. Yeah. Definitely cried that day. And then I was actually in a swim pool. Something about me being a <laughs> more... I um, can't take to the road, I'll take to the sea. Once I've been the car I've ploughed into the pool. <laughs> so I, uh, I was in the pool when I was told that I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Learn, learn from what happened and then <clears throat> that's yeah. the main thing you can do. Uh, there we go, we've solved a load of problems today. So many problems. <laughs> Too many problems. So many. Hey guys, it's time for Stephen Lies, but done right. Stephen Lies, Stephen Sweet Little Lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. Knock it off, lady. <laughs> this week on Stephen Lies, Ryan is the detective. Ooh. Oh! And our object here is this lovely trophy. Ryan, do you want to take a hold of it? Yeah? No! Nice. Nice. Football. Oh, observant. Jesus. Fuck me. Nothing gets past you. Oh, yeah. He's on a roll here. Unless he's in goal. Hey. <laughs> Should we start, uh, Max? Yeah, this is the famous golden ball that I won at school. And you got it for... No, I actually bought I bought this myself uh, for a show and tell because I wanted to have something interesting. So I bought right. myself a golden ball. Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Uh, just a metal shop. <laughs> <laughs> On every ice cream, <laughs> the medal shop. I guarantee, if you type in, we're taking medal, these to Japan medals, for the medals, Paralympics. Medals. Type in, uh, if you go on, if you want to go on your phone, yeah, yeah, type in North End uh, Medal Shop in Portsmouth, and there is one, and that's okay. where I bought it from. Okay. okay, you got a little bit of work to do yourself, but yeah, that's where I got it from. Fair enough. And you got it just. To They're so show cheap, off. you can literally just buy your own medals. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nothing stopping you. Cool, cool. Five pounds, show and tell, sorted. Yeah. No, wait, that's five pound. Did Look you at the detail. Any... Look at the studs on the back. Yeah, it's, it's also a second-hand medal. No one's going to buy one with somebody else's name on. Tom? Yeah? Uh, what's this boot to you? Uh, I was awarded this trophy for being a top goal, sto- uh, top goal scorer <laughs> at a football <laughs> tournament. Store it. I've got so many goals in here. <laughs> Storing all them goals. <laughs> but I'll never tell. <laughs> 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 The ball that go in the net and you just trap it there. <laughs> Man! <laughs> How long have you had this? Uh, uh, probably about five years, maybe. Five years. Something like what, what team were you playing for? Uh, it was just um, a group of friends. Uh, uh, work- so, no, no, uh, we met in, in five work. Five years ago. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, I was working in uh, 
working in a bar uh, and <laughs> people working at Tiger Tiger. Um, we kind of had a little five-a-side team that we've played in various leagues over the years, uh, yeah, going through me. different things. <laughs> Yeah. Some glow sticks. Was that top scorer in the team or the league? Sorry. Top scorer in the league in a sun, in the uh, in the first Sunday league that we played together in, um, and it was a uh, yeah. So it was about seven or eight teams, and over the course of like about a year, um, I finished top. Mm. Just got a lot of goals. How many? Oh, too many to count, mate. Yeah. Someone else, it's someone else's job. That's not my job. I'm not in it for the personal accolades. As a scorer, I was awarded scorer. the trophy, but you know, um, it's not about me. It's about the team. Uh, Stephen, yeah. Uh, what's this trophy to you? Uh, this is why I got Player of the Week at a football camp. Lucky, not lucky, deserved. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, in, that's a mad struggle. Up. <laughs> I was in year six, <clears throat> I believe, mm. and it was the Easter holidays one of the holidays uh, he got off school I spent the week going to a football camp cool that's beautiful yeah um, it's kind of like a memory from home as well isn't it like, and, yeah. and sorry it was childhood a goal scorer of the week player no player player I mean the thing is you, you've just let people tell their stories haven't you it's yeah just, yeah uh, that's, that's sometimes the best you can do it's, yeah. do, do you know what Al- already I'm between one of you two what? wow <laughs> go fuck yourself uh, I think what about North End <laughs> Medal shop. Medal shop. Tom, I know that you maybe did play for a Tiger Tiger. I feel like I remember that. Yeah. Um, But already I've decided that Stephen's telling the truth. Really? (laughs) Is it Tom? Ding, ding, ding. Can I I take off the gaffer? Yeah, yeah, have a look. Pulling off the gaffer, yeah? (laughs) So uh, so you got the team. (laughs) Hey! So you got the trophy. It's quite... uh, (laughs) quite strongly on um, Max is there a medal shop in Portsmouth yeah there is yeah. wow yeah. yeah. how much would you have for? I wouldn't pay I think that's more than a five that yeah but I wouldn't yeah. I'd probably it's quite, I want that. it's quite elaborate piece of yeah. shit hey <laughs> my issue is there is that you or Tom could have said anything any football story you could have asked who was on his team and I couldn't where where the matches <laughs> were what, 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 what you need to do in this situation is just ask kind of questions about the story and just try and see if anyone hesitates or they yeah. give a, a little give as to where do you keep telling it a lie mm. fat shaming if anything <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I wasn't even right. considered yeah absolutely there is that okay. yeah. yeah sorry you yeah, okay Max. to be fair Dave was not really disappointing last week um, Dave let let me down but it's kind of equally disappointing I rarely week. wish death on people <laughs> <laughs> so sorry a bit yeah. embarrassing for you Ryan Speaking of which, it's views embarrassing stories. This week's one is from... Oh, they want to be anonymous. It's from a mystery person whose surname is Barnes. It's not John. I'll be Barnes. Went out for drinks at the beer kellers with friends, had a great time, but definitely drank too much, so I left for home before anyone else, including my housemate. Once I got back to my house, I was that drunk, I posted my key through the door rather than unlocking the door. (laughs) My only option here was to walk to my parents house who lived a 10 minute walk away as I didn't want to be left outside alone once I got there I've passed out drunk on the sofa only to wake up the next morning sat on a soaked sofa I'd only pissed myself had to spend the morning wrapped in a towel cleaning the sofa covers I was 23 at the time (laughs) you like that one anonymous bonds it's just every week it's either I shit myself or piss myself well the the imagery that anonymous has used there of being wrapped in a towel Oh, soaking up sad. your own piss on the <clears> couch <throat> parents your, couch yeah po- posting your key through the door <laughs> <laughs> so if he went home first he could have waited for his friends to come back he had his phone yeah but I guess if you're that drunk yeah, come on anonymous thinking, think, think yeah. calm think that's really upset me I need, I need something to make me feel better fucking hell I hate this segment You're the most hated Ooh, uh, segment hey, on the podcast. Hey, calm down there. A little bit boisterous. Uh, it's week. called Relax Max, not Irate Max. <laughs> well, this week I'm, uh, yet again, on my search for something that will just calm me down. Well, it's not so worked, has raged. it? Uh, and I thought, I thought I'd go get a drink. God, I'm so stressed out. My bong's broken and my new juggling knives aren't even cutting it anymore. 
and my new roommate is causing a racket upstairs with that infernal drum kit. Ugh, I need to get sloshed. Damn, TGI Fridays is popping. Haha! <laughs> hey, cabin boy. Hello. Let's point and laugh at that heavy drinker. Hey, don't point at me. Anyway, let's get a drink. Ah, this gentleman seems to know what's what. How do? Hello. So, what are you looking for? With my boy. Bummer, lol. Have you got a picture? Sure. Here you go. Fucking hell, is this a scroll? This is going to take ages to unravel. Oh, hey. There's a lock-in. Yes! Hey, bartender. Ryan's here. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> My friend here needs perking up. What can you do? I like to make some jokes when I'm, uh, well, just, just in general. I said he needs perking up. Not putting down, lol. You're a bartender. Why don't you flirt a bit? Oh, that happened quicker than I thought. Hey, I finally unraveled this picture of your kid. No wonder it took so long to unroll. Look at that forehead. Oh God, it, it, it can't be. Oh God, but when I said there was a lock-in, you, you thought I meant you. Yes! So that means Ryan is... My boy. No! <laughs> it's just another week of uh, Ryan's incessant incest. <laughs> Getting in the way of me having a good time. So just to confirm, that was me and my dad. <laughs> incest, mate, not okay. No, I didn't like that. That's, yeah. that's what I'd want men to do less of. Yeah. Yeah. Incest. Yeah. Right. It's nice how that came full circle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you came full circle. <laughs> yeah. This full circle yeah. being your dad's on, anus. On your dad. <laughs> yeah, in your dad. So I've now kissed my mum and my dad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't I know mean, about you're, you. You're, you're the one saying it. I did it. not know that. It's, it was in... The... No, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> just, just admitted to kissing your mum. Freak. Uh, was, it, was it just called Wickham before you moved there? Hey. I, he's from High Wycombe, I've just realised that. <laughs> wow. Stoner. Yeah. Uh, Piss off. Yeah. Go on. Next time, laugh at my jokes. Yeah. Laugh at one of my quips. Smoke, I'll take the incest. Smoking weed and kissing your dad. How dare you not laugh at a group? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you want to be more angry? You've got to see me angry. <laughs> well, yeah, so I've not really been able to sort of de stress just because all these things keep happening. My, uh, I've only just heard that and I'm livid as yeah. well. So, yeah. Hello. Yeah, God bless you for coming. Thank you. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. How Hello. are we all? I'm okay, thanks. How are you? Not bad, thank you. More importantly, who are you? Who are we? Yeah, not the how, who. <laughs> who am I? Oh, God. <laughs> My name is Dirty Desmond. <laughs> Dirty Desmond. Dirty Double D. Desmond. Yeah. You call yourself that. <laughs> yes, it is the name that I was given and earned. By who? How'd you earn it? Actually? <laughs> Sorry, how did you, more how did you earn that, Desmond? Because you, you just said that you earned it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, where I'm from, I do lots of dirty things. With, <laughs> Go on. With various vegetables. Oh. Okay. Right. Uh, and, and while you're here, Desmond. <laughs> 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 oh god <laughs> I realised I couldn't have said it. Why are you here Desmond? <laughs> I'm here to promote my new day nursery Tipsy Toddlers right. <laughs> Okay that he does De Desmond <laughs> I've really got a question <laughs> First of all What are you doing with vegetables <laughs> So dirty <laughs> Well I, I, I own quite a lot of land Right And on my garden I grow many <clears throat> Different Vegetables. Sure. Can you name and a few. I'm always in the back garden 
getting stuck in <laughs> into what the vegetables <laughs> into the vegetables like you're eating them getting planting them seeding them well your seed <laughs> 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 uh, for those at home listening, uh, what it is. Dirty Des just nodded <laughs> and smirked, <laughs> like spunking on the carrots. <laughs> and and oh. you believe that makes them grow better? Yes, yes. Oh, you do. A, this is a theory. Yes, yes. That's why they call me Dirty Desmond because a lot of the neighbours see you see wanking me. over. Yeah. Is this like a sexual thing for you or? No, no. It's genuine. Oh well. So, so you're on a lot of land and you you masturbate near the neighbours. Exactly that. Wow. <laughs> so so um, what? <laughs> What happens to your carrots that makes you think, oh, this is worth masturbating in public? Well, in uh, front I, of your I read online that semen helps carrots grow. Who, who, where'd you read that? Was it on the dark web? Potentially. Right. I just Googled what helps carrots to grow. That won't be the dark web if you just Googled it. Yeah. And the first thing you saw semen, was semen. Yes, it brings out more vitamin right. C. So, oh, semen. Yeah. since 2012, I have been Coming on leaving your myself on yeah. my carrots. And I'll have you know, they're the biggest carrots anyone has ever seen. How many milliliters of semen do you get through a day, do you reckon? Ooh, I crack out at least seven. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you finding the time to run a day nursery? <laughs> Please don't say that you do both at the same time. Well, the, no, 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 absolutely not. Um, so, yes, the thing is, <laughs> the, the growing of vegetables and the semen and all that, that's just a personal thing for me. Like, that's not my job. Oh, so you, you don't these, sell them? Just, no, no, no. Do you eat these carrots yourself? Yes, I, grow all, I just grow or? all my own food. So you kind of, food. so you're like a serious businessman in, in other um, aspects, aspects. Yeah. Yes, and you've yes. introduced so yourself as you, Dirty you Desmond. Don't, you don't yes. have time to go into the shops. <laughs> no, no, no. Just no, seven wanks because of the carrot wanking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go to the shops though, because you eat your own produce. Well, this is it. <laughs> this is it. You just eat carrots. They yeah. massive your carrots, carrots taste of pineapple. Oh no! Don't let's stop you so crude. Yeah, that's sorry. A bit, so sorry. come on, it's delicious. Serious eat carrots at no, but I don't eat anything Desmond. that I can't grow <laughs> or spunk over. Yeah. Desmond, I'm wondering, oh do they call you dirty because you because of all the soil? Yeah. On you? The 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 dirty part comes from my incredibly poor hygiene. Why tipsy? Yeah, it makes it sound like you're getting them drunk. Tipsy. Or you're, or you're oh, pushing yes. them over. Tipsy toddlers. I got the name. <laughs> from I earned the name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the thing is, kids, they just get, they love sugar, <laughs> don't they? Right. They love Do you sugar. you grow your own? Yeah. Get some creamy sugar for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Tips for toddlers. Creamed sugar. <laughs> Maybe they have a little bit too much sugar at home, then they come to the nursery gagging for that sugar, so they're starting to feel a bit tipsy. And... <laughs> uh, Desmond, yeah. why, would you, why would you name yeah. the nursery after that? And did, and, it, and did you for a moment consider that the kids wouldn't come in gagging for sugar? <laughs> You're here to promote your day nursery, but of course there's a bit of an uproar because of your really public backing of Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Yes, yeah. yes, um, yes, I absolutely love the man. Why? Um, he's um, <laughs> I'm actually growing some orange. vegetables for him as well. Are you are you both ruthless businessmen? We are, we are. We have to be. You did survive. have a Ruth at the nursery. She's gone. <laughs> We, so, we, so did you know uh, Donald from back in the day? Or Oh, yes, yes, big time. Uh, we, we used to go to many parties together. Uh, was he Dirty Donald? Don't, no, no, no. Do you know Donald, a Dirty Jeffrey that know, was friends with ev uh, Donald? Everyone respects Donald. <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> they everyone. do, they do. Everyone respects him, especially at the parties I went to. What everyone, sort of parties? Oh, just, you know. Any royals there? Uh, they get you off to a couple. private island? Toddlers. Desmond, I'm really... <laughs> really not okay with your tipsy toddler organisation. Mm. I believe your ties to your ties to Donald Trump. <laughs> Probably aren't the only ties in the, the nursery. North American man boy lovers. <laughs> Keep America Mambler. great. Keep America great. What? You're not even in America. <laughs> not now. <laughs> Have you ever been? Oh, in my dreams. I'm saving. I will be going soon. <laughs> You're a ruthless businessman. <laughs> saving to get a flight to America. Yes. You brush out. You've been, you know, you've been kind of a, a, a high flying socialite. <laughs> you've spunked your money away quite literally. You're friends with billionaires who can mm. pay for anything. Apparently. Why it's would Why would billionaires want to associate with Dirty Desmond, the man who comes on his own carrots? <laughs> They were just called cubers before you yeah. get out of them. Cucumber, forget it. Can, can I just get a chance to explain myself? Well, you've had about 10 minutes. <laughs> All you've done is dig yourself a bigger hole that you're probably going to shag. <laughs> Tipsy toddlers 
is a UK <laughs> don't, don't look at the lens <laughs> nursery opening June this year. <laughs> You've missed shit. the fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh shit. If you weren't having seven monks today, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> dehydrated. <laughs> the kids. I've been out in the field all day. <laughs> right. Desmond, there is so much, so much wrong with your business. I, I can't knew. believe you, Joe's booked you. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, maybe Joe's in the <laughs> <Our water. laughs> <Mine's> got... <laughs> Oh, It doesn't have semen in it. <laughs> His crotch is glistening. <laughs> by, by Desmond. Oh. Oh. Wow. What oh, colourful character. Yeah. Just try some really nice carrots out there. Yeah. <laughs> Were they dipped got... in hummus or already dipped? Yeah. <laughs> you got something on your chin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I was saying. Carrots and hummus, more like carrots and hummus. Ryan, you're just yeah. back in time for. Ryan's trying. Yay! It's Ryan. He's trying. trying. Ryan's, Ryan's always trying, trying to so roll a blunt. Before I die, I've always wanted to go skydiving. Is it the thing you want to do just before you die? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Worst ways to go. Yeah. You didn't mention but this before when we were talking about things we like want to do and saving it. Right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, makes yeah, sense. That's genius. Don't save it for yourself. Would you? Yeah. Would you ever do it where you're the one responsible for pulling the parachute? So if I'm by myself, yeah. Like, so uh, well, <clears throat> just jump out not. of a tree. <laughs> I would, I would. Yeah. yeah, if I was trained. God, well, if you I, weren't I trained, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't through, on you, I wouldn't go through like you know <laughs> years of practice. Yeah. Just, okay. What if it was the first jump and they said, "Look, it's dead. So, it is so freaking easy. All you do is you know give it about a minute, pull the cord. Would you do it? First ever dive. No. Or a video, maybe. What? I'm joking. Really? I'm joking, I'm joking. Can we arrange uh, this? <laughs> Great footage. <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, I'd be worried that if you jumped out of the plane, if something freakish happened, like you just fainted, maybe the velocity of the air yeah, yeah. into yeah. your mouth, I, you just. I, I would do out. it where someone was strapped. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was. In front and of what? So, so there, you, you're you still putting the cord. Yeah, but they're your just got, just got a baby legs. strapped to you. No, 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 other way around. So someone on my back. Uh, yeah, someone on my back. <laughs> so there's a strap on behind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> and land on your back. <laughs> <laughs> he survived, <clears throat> but his anus is dead. <laughs> Any anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to go to uh, Hobbiton in New Zealand. Oh, I'm Lord of the Rings sick. nerd. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would Big you go time. with Max for a video? Would you skydive yeah. into Hobbiton? Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. All the little hobbits. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Big time. We'll Me and Tom will race you two there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just on the same plane. Ryan keeps running to the front. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just I think I would actually just cry if I went there if I was just there. Oh, really so, you yeah, just cry I would just be so yeah. and you realise it's not real yeah yeah, yeah none of it's real. <laughs> no <laughs> before I die I think I'd like to give stand up another go fuck oh, like, me just, uh, god you, know, just, you will die <laughs> hey come gigs, on couple of gigs yeah you know yeah. Where, where would be your dream venue oh, Hobbiton yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably just any theatre to be honest Anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. like your hometown, enough, you know. even Cheswick about one that was like closed down and like like a ruins of a theatre. What if one that was no. currently burning oh. down? Yeah, you do it there? it's on fire. No, no. <laughs> any, any more? <laughs> um, I think, uh, yeah, Mount Everest Base Camp. I really yeah. want to go there. Is that at the top? No, it's at the bottom. Huh. Yeah, oh, that's There's easy. Like no eight, interest in going up it. To get to the bottom? Yeah. Take a plane, skydive. Yeah. Well, if you get to the bottom after eighteen days, you might as well climb it. Does that take a day? Would you climb it? Uh, if money wasn't an issue, I would consider. Are you having some money issues? I mean, it's sixty-five thousand pounds just to get a permit to climb oh, Mount Everest. A permit? Just to get a permit. That doesn't include oxygen. Or... You're gonna have to do so many raffles. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need oxygen? It's free. Yeah. yeah. Not not up there. Could do like some stand-up maybe but to raise money for oxygen up there. Yeah. They're not like a standard stair lift that you can just sort of ride all the way up. Yeah. Build that. Yeah. Then sell that. Just use sneak the money up. to just, use just, it. Just, yeah, yeah. fucking... Sneak up, yeah. People don't need to know. Yeah. Just get up there, mate. Or <clears> skydive <throat> above Everest. Just yeah. Fall off into oh, that. 
Oh, because once you're at the top, it's not as if they can say, right, you owe us £65,000. No, no, no. They're going to do chase you down. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They just roll down, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Uh, fuck you. You'll never get this. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it for this week. <laughs> yeah, well done. It's the easiest fucking segment in the world. It's a fuck good me. list. It's a good list. Uh, what would you want Ryan to try? Let us know in the comment section. Also, like the video. Thank yeah. you for not doing it already. Share it to your friends and family. Yeah. <clears throat> that's pretty bonkers, isn't it, Max? Uh, yeah, boy. There's levels to bonkers. It's Tom Looney. Hey. Tom Looney. So late in the show, man. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to do a quiz this week, uh, but uh, no, it was, it was, I got a bit bored um, <laughs> writing the questions. So am I. <laughs> but I did, I did get the prize, though. The prize was going to be loony, um, and it was the looniest thing you can buy, food oh. substance wise, and it's some toxic Pez. waste. That is loony. Oh, yeah. oh loony. Yeah. So that's, I filled the loony quota, and that's for you to enjoy. Oh, thank well, you. Uh, okay. Well, I'll give you some fun facts about Portsmouth. Can I have some, please? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, because uh, we didn't... Um, oh, <laughs> there we go. Get them open. Nice. They're all purple, but they're different flavours. Different oh, that's flavors. genius. Like that. Different flavours of purple. Double strength. This yeah. is loony. Jesus. Yeah, man. Go on, Tom. Uh, oh, okay, then. Um, so the uh, Airs Rock... What is it? Luru now. Uh, they kind of reclaimed it, didn't they? Who? Uh, Airs Rock in Australia. Mm. Yeah, oh, it was made in Port. It's a Na- pebble on the beach, wasn't it? named after a guy from Portsmouth. Yeah, a, a son of a dockyard. So it could worker. have been called Max Smith, yeah. Henry Ayers. So uh, there's that Max's big old rock. Yeah, that's yeah, the one. That's what they used to call it. Uh, the first centrefold to display full frontal nudity in a magazine is believed to have been <laughs> Portsmouth-born Marilyn Cole. Could have been yeah. me. There Big old go. rock on show. <laughs> uh, 1917, Portsmouth was the first town in the country to open clinics for the free treatment of venereal disease. What's that? Just <laughs> spots on your big old rock. STIs, <laughs> sex, sexually transmitted diseases. First league game to be played under floodlights took place at Fratton Park. Wow. Yeah. Pompey lost 2-0 to Newcastle in February <laughs> 1956, 22nd of Feb. <laughs> This one's a fun one. Pompey Lil was a well-known prostitute who worked in... Lil Pompey, great rapper. (laughs) Pompey. In the early to mid-20th century, she was said to have no teeth and a false eye, but she was ever so nice and (laughs) well-spoken. She had a son called Max. (laughs) (laughs) Mummy's got both eyes. You'll like this one, mate. This one is... You're sparkling both. (laughs) Someone to be proud of. Uh, Man got out of his bath and stood at his window in Penny Street, Old Portsmouth, wearing only his spectacles. Magistrates found him guilty of indecent exposure and sentenced him to one month's imprisonment. Hard labour. I used to live on Penny Street. Yeah? Did you? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Good old Portsmouth. Huh? Uh, see how you relate to this one. Did uh, you ever expose yourself? Yeah. No. Never got naked on your six and then go to Tipsy Toddler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have another one, mate. No. Yeah, go on. What's the odds on you having the rest of those in your mouth at once? And that, honestly, that would be such a loony kind of moment to point to. That would be a great, great for do my... For, I'll do it for a tenner. Mate, for my highlight reel. A tenner. You, know. you give me a tenner right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, should we do it? Yeah, yeah go it, on. Fuck it, ten pound. There we go. Tom, would you keep your phone out for put it to the max, please? This first one, someone's a bit upset. Sorry uh, to hear that, guys. Yeah, this is Ryan Henderson. You <laughs> better, Ryan. Yeah, he's just watched season two, episode 25 of the Stephen Tries podcast, and he's in awe at how the mighty have fallen. Ryan Locke was his hero. Being a fellow Ryan, he lit the path to a better tomorrow, and now he hears that he indulges in marijuana. <coughs> his faith in life is lost, and the pain won't leave him. Oh, Ryan, what have you got to say for yourself? Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, so sincere. <laughs> Are you going to quit live on air? Yeah. Uh, on the podcast. <laughs> No, I mean, you know... Right, Shut out, man. Really sounds like this guy was, you know, you were a real hero. Oh, I can only apologise. Obviously, you know, I don't want anyone to know about this, but it's just come out. Oh, it's true. Oh, no. We were all just joking. No. It's quite a feeling there. Is that all Fuck me, yes. Max, you give some advice for, for Ryan Henderson. Are they all in? <laughs> <laughs> Get him in! Uh, Are they all in? Suck on them bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> What's your advice for Lune. Uh, Ryan Henderson? Lune, I made this happen. <laughs> I made this happen, yeah. <laughs> what would you say, Max? <laughs> <laughs> See, look how distraught Max is because face. of what you put in Look at his face. <laughs> Damn, that's sour. <laughs> <laughs> Great advert. <laughs> 
<laughs> really looking for a sponsor for Tom Looney. Uh, and Toxic Waste, I've chosen you. Come on, Max, you're not giving any advice here. Suckle, suckle them a bit, because it'll go away. You've got to kind of work through the sour. Choose better heroes. Choose better heroes. Yeah. Who's your hero, Max? Ryan Rock. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, have you been affected by Ryan's marijuana Toxic addiction? Toxic Waste, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it made me think he was cool. <laughs> it made you think he was cool. Consuming more than one piece well, at a time may cause irritation to the mouth. You've uh, <laughs> you've got uh, someone who thinks you're cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, take, take that. I didn't mean you. I meant from another. Uh, have we got any more points to the maxes? <laughs> there's another one. Not uh, there's a there's a guy here. Um, hey, Ewan, Ewan Lawson. Wow. Yeah. Loves the pod. Uh, just the, wondering if he's that. knocking on my house. Ewan Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's got a fear of needles. Um, and he's scared of having the vaccine. Uh, he's panicking a lot and wants some advice. Anyway. Uh, you'll barely notice it. Yeah. It's so yeah. so soft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Max, have you got any it's advice? It's the worst things to go through, Max. COVID's worse than needles in your arm. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's And then well, the key to it is to keep your arm moving once you've had it, I've yeah. heard. Don't do that. No. The key to it is to keep your arm moving. That's what keep I've been told. Keep your real still. No, yeah. ignore Max. <laughs> He's not thinking straight. <laughs> He's not well. Look at him. He's got toxic shock. <laughs> I'm the toxic waste man. <laughs> You're doing this during putting to the max, not Tom Looney. You've you've really messed up. There's pe- you, people will remember the segment, man. I put it to the max. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because because yeah, yeah, just yeah. Okay. My segment. My my segment. Do the final question. Mm. Yeah, man. It's the final question. God. This week's final question. Oh god. I'm sweating. Would you rather would you rather be able to click your fingers and make men shit themselves or make women orgasm? Shit. Shit. <laughs> shit question. Sorry. No, I wanna make men shit. <laughs> so are you are you gonna be revered as a hero by constipated males? Mm. And you come along and you're like and they just they just soil themselves. You get, is, is it all men shit themselves like that can no, hear just, the click, or you get to? So kind of if say, I was in this room you. and I wanted Ryan to shit himself, I'd just go like that. Right. Yeah. But Tom and Max wouldn't shit. No. No. It's a superpower. Mad respect. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have that. Uh, really? Mm. Uh, but then making the women orgasm, you don't have to touch them. You could just walk in a room and just be like <clears throat> ultra click, and they all just orgasm as you walk in. Depends what they're kind of everyone's doing. It they might not want to orgasm at that moment mm. in time. You might be a menace. Walking, walking in a bar. <laughs> walking in a <laughs> bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I would rather the orgasm one. Yeah. yeah. But, but you're at the a same sexual deviant, aren't you? I, I would be worried if would I was it, just, you know. Would it be nice to make a woman orgasm yeah. with your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I would be just worried. Can't get over this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd be worried about accidentally clicking in front of, you know. Your dad. No, because it's yeah. it's you have to aim yeah. it in your mind. You've got yeah. control yeah. Oh, over it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the orgasm. You're not just going to be at a jazz concert making everyone shit mm. themselves yeah, that's all the what time. I'm worried about <laughs> making yourself uh, no, shit. The orgasm. Oh, your new yeah, day yeah, nursery. Yeah. 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 Huh? Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think I could do a lot more with making men shit, than <laughs> making women orgasm. I mean, yeah, because yeah, if you're playing, if you're watching the football, opposition's running in. Mm. Bang! Mm. They've shat themselves. They might still run, but they're gonna they're gonna squidge around a bit. Mm. You could cause so much. Havoc. I know, but it's just such a shit thing to do, really, isn't it? Like Make someone of... shit themselves. Yeah, be great. Somebody starts on you. Yeah, you just go and then click. Do you know yeah. what? Yeah, it's more useful. It's more useful. I mean, kind of, you know, in, in the times that you'd need to. Or you'd want to make a, a woman orgasm, you know. There's other ways. Um, what? You just be yeah. going. <laughs> Come on! Oh ways. no, it's a shit one. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was the other way around? So if other people click. No. Would you rather make women shit themselves? <laughs> Men orgasm. <laughs> uh, that's good. Probably make yeah, men just make men come in the pants and make them awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Word, wouldn't it? Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> you started, mate. Oh. <laughs> if, if you're if you're in the I'm swimming. I'm speaking of me. <laughs> I guess shitting themselves is worse because if they just do it like that, then they wouldn't necessarily have had an erection. So it's not like they're yeah. embarrassed, stood there with a you know an erection or anything. They've just kind of. I think I'd I'd on my pants. Use it for good and make women orgasm. It's Maybe weird. go to an old people's home, see That's the women really there. Noble. I'd just be like that. Here you go, love. 
Oh, I'd ask didn't for even think, go. Didn't even think of going into like old people's home. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's, just that's my Duke of Edinburgh bronze coming in. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going orgasm? Okay, orgasm. Shits. Give men the shits. Orgasm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Just a couple of youngsters making women cream. Yeah. Well, we're experienced. We do things a bit different over here. Yeah. It's a little different over here. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching the Stephen Trice podcast. I've been joined by Ryan Locke. Whee! Thank you. Max Smith. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no claps for me. So. <laughs> I, like that. No, I didn't. And Tom Looney. Hey. Looney. 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 Yes. Uh, not actually sponsored by Toxic Waste, but if you're interested, <laughs> I wish. please get in touch. Stay safe, stay humble. Ciao.